video, I want to introduce the center to edge aiming system. The big benefit to center to edge aiming system is your eyes are always going to be locked in on the same spot. So you want to keep your eyes on the center of the cue ball to the outside edge of the object ball. And then what's going to happen is you basically have one decision to make. And that is, is it a thick or thin cut? And that's differentiated by the half ball hits, which is a 30 degree cut. If you need to, review my half ball hit video to kind of see about those 30 degree hits. Now, if you're basically looking at a thick cut, which is something that's straighter in than 30 degrees, what you're going to do is you're going to start pivoted to the outside of the shot. And then you're going to pivot kind of to center and when it looks right, you're going to shoot. If it's a thin cut, you're going to start pivoted to the inside. Um, and then you're pivot to the center and shoot. Now what that pivot does is it's actually kind of biases where your bridge placement is. So your bridge placement is either going to start a little bit to the outside on the thick cuts or on the inside for thinner cuts. And the thinner the cut, the further to the inside it might be. All right, so for a thick cut, I'm basically going to always put my eyes on the center of the cue ball to the outside edge of the one, every shot. And then what I'm going to do is, since this is a thick shot, I'm going to start on the outside. So my bridge will be biased a little bit to the outside of my shot line, or my aiming line where my eyes are. And I'm going to bring my bridge down, and I'll pivot till it looks right, draw back, draw down that line. The bridge placement kind of gets me set up the right way to start, and then the pivot will actually fine-tune it to the exact point where I need to be aiming. So for a thick cut, my eyes are on the outside edge, start on the outside, pivot in until it looks right, straighten down that line. So my eyes, my bridge placement to the outside, pivot. My eyes are always through the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball. Eyes, bridge, pivot. My eyes, bridge, pivot. I'm not setting up terribly hard shots. These are just to illustrate how to do the system. Um, when you practice it a little bit, you can fine tune that. And your bridge placement, you'll start to realize, is what moves a little bit for the rough aiming. And then the pivot kind of fine tunes it and gets it to the right spot. Now, the only thing that really has to change for a thin cut is instead of setting up your pivot to the outside of the cut angle, we're going to go to the inside of the cut angle. So just remember thin is in. So if I want to do a thin cut, my eyes are still going to be in the same spot. They're going to be on the center of the cue ball to the edge of the one ball. But now my bridge placement and my pivot is going to start on the inside of the ball. So I'm exaggerating a little bit here just to kind of show that will pivot towards the center and stroke. Now I exaggerated drastically. But what it's going to look like is my eyes are going to be on the center of the cue ball to the edge of the one. My bridge is going to come in just a little bit, pivot when it looks right, stroke right down that line. So eyes, bridge to the inside, pivot, stroke straight down that line. Bridge, bridge, stroke. 
it does is kind of unlock your subconscious mind to be able to help you with the aiming. When you pivot towards the center, you're going to see when it looks right. And if you're totally screwed up, you want to get up and start over. And a lot of times the totally screwed up might be something that's close to a half ball hit and you're not sure which way to go. So if you're not sure and it looked wrong one way, you can always try another way and see what happens. Um, generally a half ball hit you can make with either pivot position. One word of caution with these systems is stick with one for a while. You can't be bouncing back and forth because you're supposed to be doing different things. If you're trying to bounce back and forth, you're going to be mixing up systems and your results are going to be haphazard at best. If you're going to switch to this system, one thing I strongly recommend is go back and look at my half ball hit video. Practice a bunch of half ball hits to kind of get your eyes locked in on the right spot prior to starting to use it. The key to the system is you really have to have your eyes locked in on the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball, and you have to trust the system. So please like and subscribe to this video. If you're having problems with the system, feel free to post a question or send me a question. I'll do my best to respond.